Hello and welcome to Maths by SARS. This is my second lesson about introduction to set theory. These lessons are equally important for D2, D4 and CIE students who are preparing the exams. And this lesson is equally important for linear inequalities and the topic one of the numbers. So coming to the lesson, in this lesson I'll tell you about some standard sets, their notations and their elements. The first basic set that we are using from the junior classes is set of the natural numbers. Its symbol is n and its elements are 1, 2, 3 and so on. Uh, the dot shows that we cannot count this set. This is the uncountable set. Coming to the second set that is the set of whole numbers. The symbol for the set is this capital W and uh, if we look at the natural numbers we can see that almost all of the elements are same in the set of whole numbers except for one more element that is 0. If we join element 0 with set of if we join element 0 with set of natural numbers we get the whole numbers set. Then coming to set of odd numbers we can have the set we can have the positive odd numbers and we can have the negative odd numbers and odd numbers are the numbers which when we divide by 2 we have the remainder 1 and the elements are plus minus 1 plus minus 3 plus minus 5 and so on coming to the set of even numbers even numbers are 0 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 and so on even numbers are the numbers which we when we divide them by 2 we get the remainder 0 coming to the set of prime numbers set of prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 and so on these are the numbers which has only two factors one is the number one and one is number itself coming to the next set that is the set of integers set of integers has zero at the middle place positive natural numbers towards the right hand side and the negative natural numbers towards the left hand side your integers basically make your number line then coming to the next type of the numbers which are the rational numbers what are the rational numbers you have heard the word fractions rational numbers are the fractional numbers they are the numbers of the form p over q where p and q belongs to member of integers and q should not be equal to zero here it is important to understand then why q which is the denominator is not equal to zero when i am making the denominator equals to zero my answer comes infinity and which is not reachable so for the rational numbers it's important the denominator should not be equal to zero and in set language and notation set of rational numbers will be written as p over q such that p and q are integers and q should not be equal to zero coming to the next type of the sets which is the irrational numbers irrational numbers are the numbers that cannot be expressed as the quotient of integers like they cannot be quotient means that they cannot be written as the fraction of integers and their symbol is q dash and the definition is x such that x should not be equal to p and q and p and q belongs to integers and q should not be equal to zero and then at the end the largest super uh, set or the super set of all these sets when we join rational numbers and irrational numbers is the set of real numbers okay now there uh, is some uh, important term that we have to understand that whenever we take the square root of prime numbers like square root of 2 square root of 3 square root of 5 and 7 or pi square root of prime numbers are irrational numbers but this is really important this can be tested in p1 of ci exams i hope you are clear about these types different types of sets their notations and their elements because we need to apply them not in the set theory only but in the linear inequalities and topic one of numbers as well i hope you have understood today's lesson please watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much